Introduction to Derivatives The concept of derivatives was known to mankind from a very early age. In India, in around 500 AD, Bhaskara as well as Aryabhatta used the concept of infinitesimal in case of derivatives. They use the infinitesimal to find out the distances. But from 1200 BC onwards, right up to today, many mathematicians have contributed to the concept of derivatives. But the major credit goes to mathematicians Newton and Leibniz. Even in today's time, Cauchy and Rolle's theorem, they have along with their mathematicians have contributed to the derivatives in different formats. Let us understand the concept of derivatives. Let us consider a real value function y is equal to f of x. Let us plot as shown in the diagram the graph of y is equal to f of x in the coordinate plane. Now let us consider two points A which we call x and f of x and we take point B as x plus h f of x plus h. Then if I drop the perpendiculars from A and B, then this is H and if I drop this and say as C, then this is F of X plus H minus F of X. Well, I drop the perpendiculars on this and this we write down as f of x plus h minus f of x as this is f of x y and this is y is equal to f of x plus h. Now let us join the line AB. Then this line AB in geometry is defined as the secant and AB is defined as chord. If this angle, angle BAC is theta, then I can definitely write down slope of secant, slope of secant this is equal to slope of chord AB which is tan theta which is nothing but I have BC upon AC. This is F of x plus h minus f of x upon x plus h minus x which is f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. Now suppose I consider point B moving towards A along the function fx that is the curve representing the function. Let us consider the point B moves along the curve towards A. So this becomes my point B1. Let's take another point say B2. This is my point B2. Can I say that 
Finally, B can merge with A. My first thought is why not? But if I look at the formula what I have written, well, we will see that B cannot merge with A. But what happens if B was merging with A? Definitely, my secant would have become tangent. This becomes my tangent line. Now, I am not able to merge B with A. So, in that condition, we say that let us take the limiting value. So, limiting value of the f of x plus h minus f of x upon h which is limit as h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. This is the limiting value of slope of secant and this is nothing but the slope of tangent at A. Then limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h is defined as derivative of, of f of x with respect to x and is denoted as f dash x or f dash or y dash or dy by dx. This is the concept of derivatives.